Well, what's up, America? This is Jim and Bob from Jim and Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Uh, it's Monday morning. Uh, this will be the last uh, commentary from this secret location. Uh, my next one will be somewhere different. Okay. Well, it's Monday morning, uh, day after daylight savings time change. I'm tired. All the clocks in the house is set wrong. And uh, trying to readjust to the new time. Boy, I'm tell you, that's about the stupidest idea I ever heard of. You get the clocks just about right. And uh, twice a year, they want you to turn them forward and turn them backwards. And uh, some places do it and some places don't. It's, uh, states that don't do it, they're smart over there. I'm going to move up one of them states. Uh, anyhow, I'm mad and tired about it. And uh, I looked it up on the internet to find out why they did it. It don't make no sense to me. They started doing it way back in there. Along the 1800s or something over there. They never did tell me why. And... Uh, Nixon did it to save gas. Well, he ain't saved no damn gas with it, the dumb son of a bitch and Nixon hell anyway. And uh, them politicians have been a messing with the law. Way well, been on back since 18 or something or another. Uh, changing it, it's daylight savings time. Well, some some bitches can't figure out it don't work. Uh, God knows what time it was when he said it. He put the sun to come up and when the sun gets up in the morning, it's morning time. Get your ass out of bed and go to work. And the sun goes down in the evening, and it's time to go to bed. Get your ass off to work and go on down there and get to bed and go to sleep. And then tomorrow, get up and go to work again. The damn dumb daylight savings time crap. It's ain't saving me nothing. I ain't got a, a nickel extra from the daylight savings time since it's been going on. All I've been doing is making people late for work or early for work. One or the other two. And uh, stuff like that. And uh, and the congressman, as soon as that, somebody complained about it, uh, they went and changed it back again to try to uh, make their constituencies and all that stuff. This is another one of them stupid laws. They ain't got no no good use for it. And just up there uh, uh, in Congress, they think, well, what can we do that uh, won't cost uh, nothing? And uh, we can say we did something and. Uh, somebody had give us some money for it, and so they did it, and that's, and that's what they did. Now, old Teddy Roosevelt, he even called it the war time. That was what he called it. He would give it a fancy name on the kind of war going on. Well, people was patriotic back in the Second World War, and so they said, oh, well, it's uh, war time. We've got to do it, and uh, so they walking around, stumbling all over the place, tripping on, falling, because they just didn't get no good sleep. They probably could have killed more Nazis that way. If they'd have known in the Second World War that the Germans is the one that started it in the old beginning, then they probably wouldn't have done it. But see, they didn't figure any of that stuff out. So, anyhow, I'm going to go over there and get back in the bed and get me some more sleep. And uh, I reckon after I get up after that, I'll change the damn clock. And you know what? I ain't going to change the clock. I'll change my mind. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to, in the summer, in the springtime, I'm just going to be an hour ahead of everybody. And in the wintertime, I'm just going to be an hour behind everybody. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my ass. That's a Jim Bob's out.